We we are chasing uh, money and stuff today, or something better, hopefully. But we we also are chasing education starting tomorrow. We want to take some time to bless uh, those of us who are going starting school tomorrow, or some of us have already started school. I know Gretchen, your kids started at Potterville this past week. Mine start tomorrow. We have several educators in our church. They're here on the screen. Hey, Marcy, great to see you, and Megan, and Alona, and Aaron Wassinger. We're so glad for you. We are so grateful for the investment that you make in our kids. Um, we, uh, we also have got some kids and some families. Lydia's here with Noah and Isaac. We're so glad to see you, and uh, Louisa and Violet. We're so glad you are here. You all are starting school tomorrow, and it's kind of a big deal, isn't it? We're very excited for it. We, I, I'm also. We're kind of stressed out too, aren't we? Because mm-hmm. we're not quite sure what's what's happening, what's going on, and we want to take some time to bless you in in getting ready for that. So, do you all have your devices there? You have you got them? Um, we uh, we want to. We want you to. You know, the, the church has a tradition of laying hands on things. Okay, so. We literally want you to like lay your hand. I can't lay my hand on on your computer. Oh yeah, there's your Chromebooks. Um, so let's see. We got we got Louisa's there um, with her Chromebook, and we we want you to to lay your hand on that, and and I'm gonna bless it. Okay. All right. I see everybody's got it. Here we go. I'm not, by the way, I'm not as cool as David Lalone, who did this blessing last week for our Mount Hope team, but, but I have written a, a blessing for you all today. So here we go. May your laptop, tablet, and mobile phone not only illuminate bright screens, but illuminate bright minds to shape our world just as the Spirit illuminates the reading of Scripture for all who read it to be students of the way of Jesus for the transformation of the world. May Google Classroom and Zoom facilitate learning and not be a rabbit hole the students end up in Alice in Wonderland. Unless, of course, it's the actual Lewis Carroll book. In which case, click the link and go down the hole and trust where God's spirit leads your imagination. May students read red links right and blue links better. So they know whether to click the red synchronous link or the blue asynchronous link and not get lost in a matrix of lesson plans and miss out on the joy of reading a real book, paper and binding in their hands or backlit fonts on a screen, and trust that God is with you whether you're with your class or not. May teachers' spelling always be strong, especially when you are spelling hyperlinks. And may every student's writing assignment be turned in with perfect spelling. Thank you, spell check. And may every student resist the temptation of using spell check on the spelling test. (laughs) Because good grammar is next to godliness is found nowhere in the Bible, but resisting temptation is. May math add up and multiply great thoughts. You would have a measure pressed down and shaken over of the abundance of God's grace more than you can even imagine. May English teachers learn the new online lexicon and join the upcoming generations in becoming polyglots of Spanish, Chinese, Arabic, French, German, and hypertext transfer protocol so that we all can hear the praises of God from every tribe and people and nation and language around the world wide web. May science and history expand the universe beyond the screen the students learn them on and dig the depths of the mysteries of God's amazing creation and all the diverse people who bear God's image and inhabit it. May Go Math Go and Reading Street be a street to stories unheard and Think Central facilitate the centrality of learning to think well so that we learn to love the Lord with all our minds. May all the art and band and kinetics teachers paint learning on a new canvas, hear great music through substandard speakers and mediocre microphones, and to help remind our kids to go outside and run a mile or two or three, even if mileage club isn't running, so that we love God with all our soul and all our strength. May librarians give kids a big box of surprise books so that every kid finds one, two, three, or more stories that they didn't even know existed and would never have picked off the shelf themselves and find themselves in the story that God is writing for them. 
Bless Learning in Lansing, Holt, Hazlitt, Grand Ledge, DeWitt, Okemos, Potterville, Mason, and every kitchen, table, and family room and home office in the land. Because God is not bound by a building, and in the same way that the church was never chained to a building, learning never was either. In the name of Jesus, and in the power of God's Spirit, all who agreed said, shouted, commented, texted, or put the prayer emoji. Amen. 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 Hey, if you're on the Zoom call, uh, unmute yourself just for a minute. Make some noise. We are so glad that you are here with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Lulu, Violet, Noah, and Isaac, Lydia, the teachers, Aliona, or Alona, Megan, Marcy, Ms. Wassinger, the librarian. Nancy Meredith, I saw oh, your yeah, name. I go. know you're here. We're oh, there so you are, glad you are here. Thank you so much. Be blessed uh, in this week and tomorrow as you start this new adventure. God is with you and we're rooting for you. Peace out. Thank Amen. You. Thank you.